the so fourth exciting. chef of the day. With me, Patricia Lavado, uh, owner of the restaurant Ceviche Imas in Rotterdam. Uh, and here today with us, <laughs> a big round of applause, here today with us to cook um, not one but two dishes because we have 45 minutes, so why not cook two dishes? Uh, recipe cards are on the table, so if you want to read what we're doing. A lot of the produce here that you see has been sponsored by the Trade Commission of Peru. Trade Commission is part of the, of the ministry in Peru itself and helping Dutchies to connect with Peru and Peruvian uh, produce. Uh, so if you want to know more about that, contact us as well. I'm going to sort right. of stay here, but you're going to do most of the talking. So right. you're, you can guide us through yes. what you're going to be making. Please tell us. Thank you very much, Anna. Thank you for your nice introduction. I'm Patricia Lovato, Peruvian. Today, a very important day to us, not only because I'm very happy to be here, but because Peru won the football, cl the, the, the match that we were waiting for to, cl to classify for the World Cup. So we're celebrating a bit of lack of sleep because I stayed up watching the game and Peru is going to Russia, so it's a special day. So for that, I guarantee you, I'm making two ceviches today, which is the national dish of Peru. One is going to be with fish and one is going to be a vegetarian version. And I guarantee you that today, most of Peru is eating ceviche this morning because ceviche is also considered a big superfood. Superfood in the sense that ceviche is, is a very pure, very, very nutritionist, uh, very nu nutrition, very high uh, protein, high vitamins. And this is exactly what you need after a hangover. <laughs> you need a pick-me-upper, you need your, your, all your nutrients again, all your, and, and this is what we do in Peru, we eat ceviche. And, uh, Can you tell us what a ceviche is? Ceviche, a Peruvian ceviche is typically, of course, with a, with a sort of white fish, marinated in, uh, in, in, in limes and many other spices like celery, ginger, garlic, uh, a, a Peruvian pepper, uh, salt, um, and yeah, many, many other extra, extra uh, vegetables. Um, in the past, it used to have a different process. In the past, when I was little, for example, the ceviche was marinated for hours. Hmm. So in that case, you would, you, would, you would choose a firmer fish, like yeah. a corvina or yeah. a, a kingfish, I think yeah. it's called. A corvina, which is a nice firm, which would marinate for a few hours and then become softer. And the fish would absorb all the, all the, all the juices, all the citruses, and give you such a nice, you know? Nowadays, with the influence also of our Japanese uh, uh, migration, migrates in Peru, ceviche has turned a different, a different turn. And Peruvian food, as it, as it is, keeps its in development. So nowadays, ceviche is also made fresh, like we're going to do yeah. today. Only a couple of minutes of marinade in the lime, uh, and, and then it's, 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 it's ready to go. That's for also that, new for me. Yeah. I also thought you had to marinate it for a couple of hours. No, not anymore. And for that, then we choose a different kind of fish. In this case, I'm going to use sea bass. And sea bass is a nice, soft, delicate white fish that absorbs these, these, yeah. these, these flavors quite quickly. And it's such a nice, fine, fine, uh, fine, fine fish to yeah. begin with. So you don't need the acidity to sort of break off. No, exactly. The it's soft. Of the fish. It's, yeah. it's it's like velvet, and it will do everything it needs to do for a ceviche. Perfect. And as a, a on a different, you know, now for uh, for a, for a more natural or more uh, healthier or vegetarian version. We're gonna choose uh, avocado, which is also a very, a very, very nutrient product. Uh, uh, we're gonna use some some purple potatoes, also very typical from from Peru. Here they're called truffle potatoes. Yeah. Uh, we have some. Uh, well, we will go step by step on the ingredients, but we're gonna make a nice selection to make a vegetarian ceviche. Perfect. This one, of course, doesn't need all that time of marinating. It's a little bit more twist of a salad, but. It will be, it will, you will be surprised. And you still call it a ceviche because it we, has the acidity. Because it has the acidity. I'm going to make a leche de tigre instead of a dressing, what you would do in a salad or a capacho. I'm going to do a, a leche de tigre, which is a traditional thing for the, for the yeah. Peruvian marinade for the, for the, for the, for the ceviche. And 
My sponsors, of course, you know, we're, we have so many rich products of Peru. We have mangoes, we have avocados. We also have some blueberries, with which we could add that the, uh, later on. We have fisalis, which we, we're, we're going to use. Uh, mm -hmm. We call them aguaymantos. They're the, the, here they're called fisalis or fisalis. Yeah. What is it? That gooseberries, is, right? exactly. Yeah, yeah gooseberries and. Uh, so we're going to make a nice, a nice surprise for you. I hope, right. I Let hope me you know guys if will I can like help you, know, you with anything. Yes. At, at, at any point. The main ingredient for the ceviche, what is it, aside from the fish or the veggies, veg is the lime. So I'm going to have you help me with squeezing some limes, if of you may. Of course. Here we have some very nice limes. And we have here an elbow. Oh, uh, really? I don't even have to squeeze it by hand. If you want, but no. you, well, this is also by hand. <laughs> yeah, OK. okay. Perfect. But uh, yeah. Let me, let me get you maybe another knife. Nina, can I get another knife and a chopping board? So maybe you can, you, you can help uh, and you can pour them in here, which is, yeah, which is, which of will course. Be. Okay. I'll put these over here then. Have yeah. some room. Yeah. Yeah. In the meantime, uh, I'm going to start putting together some of our, our ingredients. I will take one of these bowls and we're going to start with the, with the vegetarian, Perfect, with the vegetarian thanks. ceviche. And for this, we're going to add some, some mango, which uh, our nice assistants from the hotel school are, are nicely, oh, have nicely chopped. The mango. Yes, That's thank cool. you very much for the, for the Den Haag Hotel School for providing us some assistance in this very Before special day I'm for starting us. off, yes. I only ever did this by hand. How does this work? <laughs> <laughs> really? Okay. It's good. in between here? Uh, no, in between here. The, the red one. Exactly. Oh, okay, so you just cut them in half and you put them down and then you squeeze and you can ah, pour perfect. it in here. I can do that. Yeah? Thank you. Excellent. Okay. So we're going to start with some nice avocados. We're going to start, we're going to continue with some, uh, sorry, mangoes, avocados. In Peru, in, in, in some areas, you know, in the, in, in the areas where there's no fish, of course, like in the mountains or in, in, the, in, the, mm -hmm. in the altiplanos, there no, there's no fresh fish. Yeah. So people eat ceviche from vegetables. Okay. In, in, in Peru, chocho is a bean. It's a sort of bean that uh, people tend, you know, use it for, 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 uh, for a ceviche. In this case, something very similar to it. I, I chose soya beans, which are also very nice. Yeah. They look really Edame, nice and fresh. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, nicely, freshly peeled, cooked, lightly blanched. Uh, we're going to add a little bit of that, some cucumbers. Cucumbers, and then we're going to add some nice, look at this beautiful color of potato. The colors look really Truffle nice potato. and fresh together. Give it a nice, a nice color contrast. We're going to do some radishes. Uh, if you can, if you don't mind, slicing me a couple of these just yeah, a couple of course. just just two as thin as you can um, lengthwise just slices yeah just uh, yeah. round uh, yeah and in here I'm gonna start with the leche de tigre while, while, while we're, we're chopping that and the leche de tigre in this in this in this case we're gonna make it with a Peruvian yellow pepper these are these are like our our, our how do I say, our most popular pepper used in most dishes in Peru, the yellow pepper. It's a, it's a mild to spicy, very aromatic, and this gives a lot of our, 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 our food this, this yellow, orangey, orangey color. It's a really bright it's color. It's a really, yeah, it is. I'm gonna take, I'm gonna cheat, and I'm gonna take a little piece of this to add into our leche de tigre. So our leche de tigre, we're gonna put the pepper. We're going to put some of this blanched uh, orange paprika puree. So I blanch the paprika, I blend it, just mm -hmm. and, and I make it a puree. And this is going to level out with the, with the yellow uh, Peruvian pepper yeah. to give it uh, a little more sweetness. And what is it called that you're making now? This is called the leche de tigre. Leche de tigre is, is tiger's milk in, yeah. uh, translated. And in the past, it, it was given this name because it's what is left over of the marinade of the fish. Like I said, in the past, mm -hmm. the fish would marinate for hours. It would turn into this, this white juice from, from the lime into the fish, and it would give it this kind of white milk uh, look like. So it was called leche de tigre because it was so high in, in proteins, high in, in, uh, 
also known as, a, as an aphrodisiac. Oh, wow. The leche de tigre, yeah, because of the long time marinating of the fish that would give you this, this kind of boost. <laughs> In this case, well, that is its name, leche de tigre, tiger's milk. It's an exciting name. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Um, and we're going to do in the vegetarian, the vegetarian version. Uh, I also have here a little bit of uh, a vegetable font, a, 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 a vegetable yeah. bouillon Reduced or whatever stock, you call it. Right? Yeah, 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 yeah. It's just you boil yeah. at the restaurant. You know, at, at the end of the day, we have so many pieces of celery and onion, and uh, we we boil it all together yeah. and we make a nice little a nice little. That's font. great. There's not that many restaurants that make their own stock. Oh, and their you own know why? Font. Because for the Peruvian kitchen, you need everything. You always need a yeah. base. You need an area. So we make use of everything. Uh, we don't we don't we don't have very much uh, waste. Waste. Yeah. Absolutely not. Good to hear. Uh, this is the way we were brought up, you know, you don't throw out anything. Mm -hmm. um, coriander, coriander. For the leche de tigre, we're going to use a couple of pieces of the coriander stem. Uh, the, stem the stem has a lot of flavor. That's you know, something that most we people don't throw, throw out. away as exactly. well. Exactly. No, no, no. We use the stem to make the leche de tigre. One, it gives you a lot of flavor. Secondly, it doesn't overpower the color of the leche de tigre. If you throw in leaves, your leche it's de tigre will turn green. green. If you turn in stems, it will just, the flavor will stay. You won't see any, hardly any trace of okay. green. So I didn't it serves know its purpose. I'm really learning a lot today. Yeah, it saves its, its, its purpose. And of course, you, we use the, the little leaves for the, for the ceviche. And we use the stems for the leche de tigre, so everything is hmm. used. I'm going to take a little bit of this lime. Yes, if how I may. much do you need? Uh, Should I uh, keep squeezing? How many more do you have? Maybe There's like nine more, and these two. Three more, maybe. Yep. I'm going to put a little bit of this. Also, another tip uh, if you're going to pre prepare for your guests and you want to prepare ahead of time, you know, your leche de tigre and um, maybe five, six hours in advance and you're going to keep it in the fridge, putting ice cubes in your leche de tigre will keep the lime juice not from bittering and not from oxidating. Oh, really? So that's also a tip. And this. Does it water what? it down or not? Uh, not really, a little bit, but. At the end, it's, it's where you find your balance because, you know, you, you like it more sour, maybe mm. not, not I or the other way around, more spicy, yeah. more. So um, it's, it works uh, really well. Then we also add little pieces of ginger. You don't need to peel. Ginger's skin is also very good. We need some garlic. I'm sorry. Yes, sure. I'm going to throw in a clove of garlic here uh, and a bit of onions. And from the onions, we, we've already done a lot of pre-work, as you can see. The onions, we, we, we cut it in, in plume, of, uh, really thin, and we soak it in water. In water. In water to soften it and to, to take the sharpness away. And so we also help? use the water. Yeah. So that helps with it, uh, it keeps it it, it keeps it from good the flavor and it exactly takes a, a bit of the sharpness away of the spiciness and we're going to add a little bit of the of the onion and we're also going to use this this little bit of fluid like I said we use everything there's, everything there's gives a little bit of fluid, fluid as well, of right? course yeah. yeah 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 and then a bit of salt do you think this is enough yes yes Perfect. thank you very much little bit of salt and I use very little pepper because the peppers it's already okay. give it uh, enough peppery feeling but for the pepper lovers I'm going to ask a little a little a little bit of peppers and we're going to blend it's a really bright color it's a really nice color I think I'm going to add a little bit more And as you said, the vegetarian ceviche is not something new and trendy because we're all eating less meat and fish. No, it exactly. It is the rural areas that are not close to the sea, they don't have a lake. No. They ate this 
And now they with, uh, I mean, this. like I said, in, in Peru, regular ceviche, fish ceviche is known as a, as an aphrodisiac, as a, as a, as a, yeah. a wake up, you know, uh, uh, your, your mom's old chicken soup, you know, it was, it, it really mm -hmm. lifts you up. And this is meant to do also the same. So if you use your really mm -hmm. nice uh, produce, like, like avocados, like, uh, you know, uh, mm -hmm. berries, uh, oh, we're gonna, we, we don't, I'm sorry, if, you, if we can grab a little bit of these, we also need a couple yes. of these. These are the uh, aguaymantos, we call them. And these are also very, 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 very nice, nice and tangy. Ooh, this one's bad. Yeah, <laughs> nice and sometimes they're a little surprised, you know. They're yeah. nice and tangy, so these are also quite quite good. If you don't mind, where's yeah. your green uh, the green chopping board? Did it go oh, away? Oh, they take it. Okay. They took it. Yeah. Um, well, okay. This is totally clean still. I haven't cut any fish. So we're gonna. Do you we're need some more? Do, um, yes, maybe two or two or more. This one's a bit sticky, so I'm so gonna. So you 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 add these these nice fruits so that. You get all your vitamins, all these superfoods that are available now to you. Many coming from Peru, of course, as we know. Yeah, um, and the Peruvian trade commerce is doing a great. Comes from Peru, so uh, the climate well, all is of these things are available. Oh my gosh, all of these things and 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 uh, and the five thousand more around yeah. for Peru because Peru, as you know, Peru is such a biodiverse country. Peru, it's amazing. Peru has 28 to 30 of the world's 32 climates. Huh? Oh, really? Yes. Oh, and wow. And 11 or so uh, different regions with different climates. So everything grows in Peru. Oh, and wow. people like me, when I was little, you know, you grow spoiled of having everything, everything you can, impo you know, you can possibly think fresh, sustainable biological mm. everything at, at, yeah. you know and it's and now it's only now in the last last maybe 10 12 years that it's it's been more aware mm. that you know that all these great foods full of vitamins and minerals uh, are, are coming from my yeah. country and also within peru there's a lot of uh, you can eat all the different kinds of vegetables that come from the different regions of the country as well yes yes exactly and from the from the coast to the to the mountains to the Amazon, there's a whole yeah. large variety of them. Okay, let me try this. As you can see, it's got a really nice color. Yeah. Uh, I usually go like this to try. I think I'm already because we don't have it. enough uh, over enough here. Oh, it's nice. You want to try? I do have some small spoons if you like. Would you like to try? Yes, of course. I'll get you some uh, small spoons if you can Maybe. so you can taste some more afterwards. Yeah, we're running, we're a bit short on spoons, yeah. but let me see. I can get you can. some more. Okay. Wow. It's an explosion. Mm. It's way fresher than I thought it would be. Yeah, yeah, exactly. It's a, you know, I just realized from the corner of my eye, I forgot to put a little piece of, a little oh. bit of celery. You know, I've been on a holiday. Just to give you I a little more freshness. Yeah. I haven't been to Peru. I have oh. been to other parts of Central America. So I was a bit... Another country, but they, I ate a lot of ceviche there as well. And yeah. just tasting this really brings me brought, brought you back. Yeah, yeah. it did. See, yeah, it's a, it's a. And mind you, this is the vegetarian one. Yeah, because but you just probably the had the, with the spiciness. Exactly. Yeah, exactly. And then I'm going to ask you to help me, of course. And we're going to filter. We're going to filter. Ah, some excellent. Thank you. Somewhere here, I saw my safe. I had a little safe. This one. Or a oh smaller yes, one. thank you very much. <laughs> <laughs> and if you can filter that for me, yes, of course. It's amazing what food memories can do. I know the palate, right? Yeah. And this is what I, what I, what what we get, you know. Uh, I'm gonna use a spoon as well, right? Yes. So, yeah. Yes, please. Let me see. We have everything here. So you see, it's it's it. At the end, it becomes a nice little salad uh, the the radishes I'm gonna put a couple of radishes but there's so many ingredients going yeah. into there but it's exactly and you can make it whatever you want yeah you know, but the the it's not that labor-intensive because no. it's all fresh 
What do you have it's in there? It's all fresh. All you do is a little bit of chopping, but it's all ingredients that you can find at your local at your local su uh, supermarket. Um, and look for the Peruvian label. <laughs> How do you, how, uh, where do you get your produce? You mean, I mean, you have got a restaurant in the Netherlands, in yeah. Rotterdam? Yeah. And for, for the Peruvian, for the Peruvian ingredients, I, I, I do, uh, which are my peppers or yeah, the, the orange pepper. That yeah, you yeah, 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 exactly. These are unfortunately not yet easy to find. So they're, they're imported. But you do have them. I do have them. I have connections. You've got your connections. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. We're going to plate it. Uh, in this in this nice plate because yeah. like I said today we're celebrating Peru <laughs> so this is these are the colors of the Peruvian flag mm. so and, and and ceviche is of course the national the national dish but I'm gonna leave this one for the for the for the fish is this okay because not everything's going through is, are if you, you can be having enough yes I think so we're only gonna plate one okay and I'm gonna slice a couple of these uh, It's so nice that I can actually help you with something. Otherwise, I would just be standing here talking. <laughs> this is way better. <laughs> and for this, uh, because we have enough lime, because we have enough lime uh, in our in our leche de tigre. Yeah. I'm gonna use a little bit of, of lemon. Because uh, of the different. Yeah, and flavor. normally I would I should have done it before to avoid my avocados going dark. You know, yeah. just a little bit, a little bit uh, to keep it to keep it uh, nice and bright. Okay. I think I've got your uh, yeah. tiger's milk. Excellent. You got my tiger's milk. <laughs> So I'm going to start plating this, and this is no biggie. We're just going to put everything nicely in the middle. You don't need this anymore, do you? No. Okay. No, thank you. Luckily, I brought another one to make the, the, the fish one. So make sure we have some nice soya beans, some fiselis, some nice purple purple potatoes. More or less like this would be a nice portion. So I made two portions here. So you mm -hmm. see, it's just a nice, yeah, it's a nice rainbow, right? It we is. Also you have do, you do actually have all the colors there. Basically, all the colors. I forgot to put these in there, but these are these little mini mini tomatoes. If you want to add more color, and because in the in the in the traditional ceviche we put peppers, yeah, sliced peppers. I'm not going to kill everybody, so I'm just putting a little bit of so people can choose if exactly they, if they use exactly or not. so that you're not uh, killed by eating a nice uh, and every ceviche in Peru is topped with a little bit of onions it so looks really festive right yeah isn't it and then we're going to put the leche de tigre around it The colors are really amazing. Wow. And this is it. And as a, as a decoration too, because you know in Peru we're a bit daring, we always put a top of a pepper. <laughs> so, like a sort of warning. But this one, ooh, I just, I just broke my little mountain. Yeah, but this in this case, it's safe. It's just a little paprika. Hmm. It's just a little paprika to it. Ah, and um, I think you all guys should be looking forward to tasting this because it looks amazing. <laughs> <laughs> I hope so. And this is a, these are a little bit of uh, parsley sprouts. So this is how we serve it at the restaurant, a bit of parsley sprouts. Parsley also bring, brings a lot, of, a lot of freshness to the, yeah. to the... And this is your vegetarian ceviche. You, you're welcome to, to, to try it if you if you wish. <laughs> I'm not going to disturb making the other one. Uh, <laughs> I'm going to try afterwards. Okay. Although I'm really tempted. But that's fine. That's fine. That's also... It just uh, looks so pretty. I want to give other people a chance to yeah. come by later come and, and see, see it. how that's pretty true. it is. Yeah. Okay. Fair enough. Very, very kind of you. <laughs> we're, going, we're going to clear up a little bit. 
Yeah, just give me anything I, I can uh, decide. I think this, these can yeah. go. Maybe the spoons, we can... We can uh, no, there's no way to rinse them, right? This can go. And then we're going to start with the fish ceviche. How are we doing with time? Are we doing okay? This is sort of illegal checking, so checking Oh, okay. Time. Okay, no, just uh, checking because <laughs> I know I can go on no. talking and... Uh, I'm really known for known we, for that. Yeah, we've got like 15, doing okay. or 15 okay. minutes left. So we're gonna try to hurry a little bit with our with our fish ceviche. Okay. Now, here's my fumé. Fumé, it's a it's a little consomme uh, uh, of a, a little bouillon yeah. of, of fish that we also make it ourselves. Okay. With all the with the with the heads or the skins or uh, yeah, no waste. You said right. No waste. No waste. Absolutely no waste. Everything it could be used, and it's just to enhance the flavor. So why why not? There's a lot of flavor in the bones in the skin. That's right. Yeah, that's right. So for this, we're gonna we're gonna if you if you follow, you're gonna see that a similar similar um, similar ingredients. We're gonna put a bit of garlic. We're going to put the, the coriander stems, as we did before. We peel off the little leaves, put the coriander stems. I think that should do it. We need some ginger. I need to clean my, my, uh, my board because I need to do the fish now. Uh, and we're going to use for this one, because we need a little bit more of a kick, Uh, is there a little? Oh. We're gonna we're gonna use uh, ajilimo. Ajilimo is also another Peruvian Peruvian uh, pepper. This one is much sharper. It's much spicier, I've and it comes paper, in different so colors. Ah, yeah. Thank you very much. <laughs> Um, so we're going to use a, an ajilimo. They look different, but they're the same kind. They just come in different colors. So as clean as it gets for now. Thank you very <laughs> much. And we're going to use a little piece of the red ajilimo. And these, we have to be careful. And all these depends really on your, your taste. Because these are spicy. These are spicy. So I'm going to start with one piece and then see how it goes. Uh, the ginger, a bit of celery. A bit of celery, salt. A little bit of, this is the pepper. And that's also the little traditional ceviche style, of course. Nothing you're doing now is uh, heated. Ah, Everything's cold, exactly. everything's fresh. Exactly, so it's also raw foods, you know, yeah. nutritious. Yeah. No need a burner, no need to, to yeah. heat anything up. <laughs> so we're gonna put some lime, we're gonna put a little bit of, the, of our, our fish uh, fumé. The pepper is there, the garlic, the ginger, salt. See how white it's it already really gets? Really white, yeah. Okay, we're gonna we're gonna keep that. Uh, That's of on course the side a difference. A In this bit. one, you use the the paprikas. Exactly. And there you have the fish. Yeah, I'm gonna put a little bit of yeah. exactly the fish stock. That's a difference in coloring. And yeah. then. The king of the fish, which is our fish. Uh, the king of the ceviche, which is our fish. And here I have nice fillets of sea bass. Hmm. Uh, move this to the and side. And where did you get your fish? Can I say the sponsor? Yeah, it's uh, Schmidt is my provider, okay. so it's a it's a it's a Dutch uh, local Dutch local company. Yeah. Yes, everything we try to keep that is seasonal, that yeah. is uh, in, yeah in season, so no no. Yeah fish coming from the other side of the world and uh, uh, the but wrong But that's seasons. also in the same spirit. Of You're working in the same yeah, yeah, way absolutely. of thinking. You have to be conscious. You have to be conscious. Yeah. And if you want to do something nice that people will appreciate it and, and, uh, and consider, then you have to be smart with, with, these, yeah. with these type of things. Okay, so for a typical ceviche, what we do is with a, with, with a thin filet like this, I'm gonna cut the filet. Oh, my knife is not—it's uh, not very sharp today. 
brought the wrong the wrong knife, but it's okay. We cut the fillet in two like this, because mm -hmm. this one's nice, nice and thin. And because we want the leche de tigre and the lime to absorb well, we cannot just cut and you know. So we need to cut it in an angle so that all parts of the flesh are more retract, yeah. you know, can 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 absorb more of the fish. So we cut it in a bit of an angle like this. Yeah. There's there's more uh, parts of the fish exactly. that can touch the marinade. The, and yeah, that will touch the marinades. And the fish is almost see-through. It's so yeah. clear. Yeah, and you will see how white it will get in a, in a, in a little bit mm. once you put the, the lime uh, and the salt. Um, the fish needs to be as fresh as possible. You know, in some countries, like in Spain, for example, it's back, I don't know why, but they, they have this rule that you should not eat raw, fresh fish, that you should freeze it first to kill any type of bacteria and then eat it. For us, that defeats mm. the whole purpose of uh, of a fresh, yeah. totally fresh fish. Because once the fresh is frozen, it the texture is changed uh, exactly. Yeah. Um, but no, for for our for our Peruvian, uh, we use the freshest yeah. ceviche locally. Um, and also, the acidity helps in food safety. Exactly, as well, right? exactly. Yeah. It cures it, and yeah, and that's why before in our times, you know, maybe due to not so much refrigeration or so. It had to be marinated mm -hmm. for a long time to kill any any possible um, bacteria or so there was. Okay, so we're gonna add our 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 fish here, and we're gonna leave a couple of pieces because I add a couple of, of, of pieces to the to the leche de tigre. Oh, really? Yes, and that's why the fish needs to be really fresh, uh, really, really fresh, so that it doesn't have so much fishy flavor. It just gives a nice consistency, a bit of a touch of fish, mm. and it thickens the... Oh, the, yeah, of course. The, can I please have a bit of paper? Of course. Clean my hands. And what else do we do? We add a little bit of this nice oniony water and we give it a go again sometimes when you add a little too much of that oniony water your leche de tire would turn a little bit red oh, really? because of the, the onion water. yeah 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 but the fish takes care of it and turns it white again you see yeah it all works amazing. together exactly now we're gonna take one of these little spoons and try Want to give it a give it a go? Of course. Everyone keeps asking me this, and I keep saying yes. It's such a good day for me. <laughs> mm. I'm gonna I'm gonna give it a little more, a little bit of the of the fumé, just to lighten mm. it a little bit. Normally, like I said, I would put the ice the the ice cubes. Yeah. And that kind of levels it a little bit more, but this time the flavor really stays in your mouth it stays in your mouth what is and it needs to be a little bit a little bit sour because it needs to it needs to cure you know it needs to uh it is it has really like sort of complex layers of flavor in it yeah 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 you're like it's great i taste ginger yeah. i taste celery you do I taste, taste all the different elements exactly yeah but yeah, it yeah. also combines into one sort into of one and then it's just an explosion flavor, yeah. yes okay to the fish really important and I need a bigger spoon for this uh, clean ones there I will, I will ones. Wait. this okay. is okay this is only avocado um, first thing in the fish salt why the salt opens the pores of the of the fish and we want the fish to open up to absorb all the pieces of the all the all the all the the flavors from the from the from the lime and the leche de tigre, so we give it a minute to to uh, open up there. A mm -hmm. little bit more. Don't be afraid of the salt because the fish also once the salt loses a bit of water, you know salt does that, mm -hmm. lose a bit of water and and 
Makes it also it. able to absorb exactly. more of the marinade. And that's what kind of course do you do you eat um, ceviche? Is it like a starter or it's usually you said a for starter, breakfast? But today? people eat it for oh today I'm sure yeah. people in Peru are chopping fish like crazy. Uh, usually for lunch. Starts from lunch. lunch or early, you know, brunch. Nice and fresh. fresh yes. To be able the to fresh, the fish, get through the, the rest of the, the day. Fish. Exactly. Now I'm going to add some lime, some mm -hmm. lime juice. And please, I beg you, lime is very important, a very important ingredient in the fish, of course. But lime needs to be freshly squeezed. You cannot squeeze lime the day before and mm -hmm. use it for your, because lime changes the flavor from one day to the other. It turns bitter, it loses yeah. its acidity. It does some, something totally different to your And also your texture ceviche. loses freshness. Tex exactly. Yeah. So do not use any pre-bottled, you know, no matter what they tell you, fresh, squeezed, no. You have to squeeze it yourself like you just did for, for me. Uh, so that's really important. Okay. That's probably also when the recipes that you made that are on the table. Like yeah, freshly yeah, freshly squeezed. squeezed. Lime yeah, juice. yeah, yeah. At, yeah. The, at the moment, yeah, absolutely. These are the chopped little leaves of coriander that, mm -hmm. uh, which I had taken the little the little stems from. So I'm going to put a, bit, a pinch of coriander in here. And of course, coriander is to taste. And I am missing my red pepper, chopped red pepper. Nina, chopped red pepper, please. Okay, so some fresh pepper going into there as well. Um, yes, um, it, today normally I would put this, but this is quite spicy, mm -hmm. the Peruvian pepper. So I'm not, I don't want to, I don't want to <laughs> kill me. Yeah, I don't want to kill you. <laughs> so I'm going to put a milder, a milder, just a, a sponsored paper. I'm already paper. grateful. The diced one, don't we have any more? Okay, I will, I will dice a couple of these. And these are just uh, sponsored papers, so mild, oh, yeah. mild, uh, yesterday, uh, oh, sorry, this morning, like I said, I was watching the game, so I was up basically <laughs> all night. Oh, uh, here it is. Ah, there it is. Okay. Magic. Save me some, yeah. <laughs> Save me a little bit of time. I was chopping an apple with, for the for the chicha morada that will be passed in a little bit. Chicha morada is a is a it's a very very healthy drink uh, made out of purple corn and pineapples. Oh, here. See, you see yeah. the purple corn from Peru. Can one I get of the that? yes, please. It's one of the hundreds of variations of corn from Peru. It's almost black. It's so I dark. Know. And when you boil it, it just gives such a nice, such a nice flavor. And we do a. a I've never a seen this before. No, no. Well, like this one, there are like ten other different colors. Oh wow! <laughs> there's yellow. There's orange. There's green. Yeah, there, in Peru, yeah, we have some amazing stuff. But that one is known for being an antioxidant. Okay. The purple. So we have this this uh, this this drink, chicha morada. It's a imagine like a. Uh, alcohol-free sangria, just to give you a little bit, you know, sweet, uh, uh, with, we serve fruits it with fruits on top and everything, cool. but made out of that, and, and pineapple, and uh, what is it, uh, uh, I forgot the name, Mem Membrillo in Spanish, the quince, quince pear? Oh, yeah, yeah, quince, quince yeah, pear, or yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and, uh, and apples, and orange peel, and cloves, and, and and, uh, and cinnamon, and it gives this really nice, it sounds refreshing amazing. drink, which is so good for your, good for the body, and refreshing and delicious. Mm -hmm. Okay, so this is our marinated fish. As you can see, it's turned a bit white. You yeah, said it was transparent before. Now That's it's turned of the a lime, little bit white. Right? The lime, the lime working and and, and cooking through. Um, now, ceviche, of course. Red onions, put a little bit of red onions. And we're gonna put our leche de tigre. And I need Can that I get you the safe. red and white? Uh, oh. the, the, the safe. Oh, the same one? Yeah, unfortunately. Because uh, there's some in there. Yeah, otherwise, you know what? I'm gonna, you know that at home you can, you can um, put it through a safe. I'm just gonna put it straight. Yeah. Otherwise, it's going to turn it's just orange. the one dish. Exactly. Yeah. It's okay. Otherwise, it's going to... So normally, I would recommend to put it through a fine safe. 
because sometimes you know there's a, a little chunk of, of, of garlic or celery but in this case we're just gonna we're just gonna pour it in like this you see how white it turned it's really it's isn't that amazing yeah. that's why it's called leche it looks like milk yeah makes sense it may <laughs> And you're welcome to give it a go if you want to try a, a bit of the of the of the of how it's going. Maybe sure, sure you can you can, you can try it. But then I'm Let stealing us. your fish. <laughs> no, you can give it a go. Okay. I'm gonna give it a, a bit of a go too. Maybe put some juice, part of pepper. Mm. Let's see. Do you agree? Yeah, that is really good. The texture of the fish is amazing. It's silk, isn't mm. it? But well, it does have a kick to it as well. A little bit, right? Did you feel a little bit at the end? And because with this sort of fine fish, you don't need to marinate it for, for, for no. hours. Poor guy, I left him here. <laughs> so we're ready, we're ready to plate. And that we're yes. going to do <laughs> to commemorate Peru. Thank you very much. Mm -hmm. <laughs> traditional, traditional um, ceviche, always with a with a leaf of lettuce. And yeah, have a bit of the crispiness that's not yeah. in the traditional. Yeah, but you ceviche. know why? Because we want to also have all the leche de tigre possible. So at the end of the day, this soaks really nice with the leche de tigre, and, mm -hmm. it, and it takes all the flavors from leche. And at the end, you just eat it. You know, it's like a little after salad. Great. So we're gonna put the the ceviche here, and ceviche, like I said, it's to taste, you can make it more spicy, you can make it more sour uh, or less sour mm -hmm. according to your palate. That's very personal, but yeah, with, exactly. There's recipes on the table, people can sort of yes. play with it, of yes, course. Yes, exactly. Right? Yeah. I'm giving you recipes and, and, you know, with the indication if you like it more spicy, please add more, more pepper or be careful. <laughs> and we do a little bit of the leche de tigre, of course, that's uh, our bonus. Look how pretty that, 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 looks, that looks already, looks really right? Nice, yeah. Ceviche, like I said, tradition, it's a little bit of, of uh, onion. We love onions, red onion especially. So we could put a little bit of onions on the top. There you go, 45 minutes, two dishes. Are we doing it on time? Wow, I'm amazed. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> sort of. I think if we if we sort of start tasting, yeah, then yeah, we're yeah. gonna be fine. This is a, another sort of Peruvian corn. See how big this oh, this this it's, oh, corn. it's yeah. corn. It looks like garlic from far away or something. But this is corn. It's called choclo, and this choclo. Yeah, choclo. It's a it's one type of. So imagine that, but much bigger. It's like this, so big that these are the the, yeah. the kernels are so big. Uh, and this is typical also in a ceviche, uh, the, the choclo. And then we also have another type of, we, we love corn, we love corn, mm -hmm. we love potatoes, we love, and this is uh, cancha, we call it cancha. Mm -hmm. And this is also a sort of uh, uh, corn from the mountains, which we yeah. roast. Yeah, and, it's, uh, it's yeah, roasted, yeah, you can try it. Roasted corn, very typical of Peru. Oh, wow. Nice and salty. And it's really rich in flavor. Mm. Yeah. And then we have really nice, well, little rounds of uh, sweet potato. Sweet potato. And there's no ceviche without sweet potato. <laughs> so I'm going to put a few sweet potatoes here. And you cook them? We cook them. Yes, yeah, these are a, 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 a little bit glazed um, with a little bit of orange juice and sugar and a uh, star. Star, a star anise, yeah. a star and then of course in Peru we would put a, a big chunk or top of a, of a big spicy pepper mm -hmm. but here we're gonna keep it mild and put some some sponsored paper so this wow. is our our vegetarian ceviche and this is our traditional 
Peruvian fish sea, uh, sea bass ceviche. It looks uh, amazing. Uh, I hope you like it. And I hope you all like it. You're going to get a little taste of it, uh, of both, along with some chicha morada. So yeah. there's this antioxidant, super nice drink from Peru, from, from purple corn. And to, to give you even more of a boost, because I sure need one after an all-nighter, we're going to have some uh, quinoa brownie. So it's a brownie made it with chocolate, with Peruvian chocolate. Peruvian quinoa and Peruvian blueberries. Oh, quinoa. Yeah, yeah from quinoa, Sounds quinoa, amazing. yes. Yeah. So it's a nice little twist on a, on a brownie, but made out of, out of quinoa yeah. and, uh, and blueberries. And, uh, and I hope you enjoy it. Yeah. Thank you guys so much for listening. And thank, thank you. you. Thank you very much for the audience, for your attention. I hope you enjoy our dishes. Thank you very much to the Peruvian mm -hmm. trade uh, commerce for sponsoring us and being here and doing such a great job here in the Netherlands by bringing all these precious products of Peru uh, into the Netherlands, especially our, our superfoods. Yeah? yeah. Well, let's taste. Yes, please help yourself to taste. Mm -hmm. And I think the, the chichas and the little dishes are going around. Yeah, <laughs> thumbs up. Thank you. Thank you.